So it took them long enough, but the Cowboys finally decided to move on from head coach Jason Garrett. He's been there a decade, just couldn't get it done. Jerry Jones, the owner, will start this decade looking for a new coach. These are the Vegas odds to take the reins in Dallas. Patriots OC Josh McDaniels leads the way at plus 300. Lincoln Riley not far behind the Oklahoma head coach. Urban Meyer, Dan Mullen, Jim Harbaugh, a couple names on this list you might recognize from the college ranks also were given a chance in the odds. You pretty much see what Jerry Jones is working with, but is it worth working with Jerry Jones? The National Football League is the biggest brand in sports, no doubt, but if you're a college coach, you're the CEO. You've got full control of everything in your kingdom. Is it worth a shot at the NFL? We know it's not about the money. Highest paid college coach Dabo Sweeney in the first year of his new contract. How about this? $10.25 million. Jason Garrett, 2019, made right around $6 million a year. Dan Mullen made just over six as well. While the Cowboys job is attractive right now with a roster that seemingly has as much talent as anyone in the league, that can change and it can change quickly. The example I've used before is Ron Rivera who had the Panthers in the Super Bowl and a 17-2 record just four years ago and when the roster started to diminish, he gets canned. If Dabo and Saban are still in their current office four years from now, eh, who am I kidding, they'll still be in their current office four years from now. Point being, in the NFL, you can be a great coach, but there's a lot that's out of your hands. So many have made the jump and not succeeded. I'm not saying it's not worth a shot, but the odds haven't been great. It's not impossible. Pete Carroll made it work at both levels, winning a title at USC in a Super Bowl with the Seahawks. Dare I say, Tom Coughlin on air in this city made the jump and got a couple rings. Switzer, Jimmy Johnson got the job done, but it's been a minute. Nick Saban was 15 and 17 with the Dolphins. Spurrier only won 12 games in two seasons. Petrino didn't even last one year with the Falcons. NFL is a players league. College, it's a coaches league. You get ahead of steam rolling in college, it's hard to be stopped. There's so much money and exposure now. Is it really worth it to leave? I guess we'll find out. Won't we, Dallas?